Hi everybody, so I wanted to do a quick update on just some skincare stuff that I've been using and what I think of it and what I used it for and all that stuff. Um, one of the things that I had ordered online was the Dermaclear um, soap, sulfur soap basically. It looks like that. But the actual soap looks like that. It's kind of yellowish and smells like sulfur. <laughs> It's not overly strong, but it just so smells sulfury. Um, I've been using this because I heard that it might help for KP, um, keratosis polaris, or whatever it's called, um, which I have, which are just these little tiny bumps. I don't even know if you can see it on camera. But um, so, so far, they haven't really done anything. It's, this soap is really weird. It's also good for acne if you have acne. Um, to use sulfur soap. Um, I guess it helps clean out the bacteria and dry out the um, spots, but I didn't use it for that. Um, I used it to try and clear out the bumps that I have, and it did not work. Well, it's not working so far. It's not doing any bad, but it feels really weird. Cause it says to kind of lather up the area with this, with the soap, which I do. I really scrub it in with my loofah, um, sheet that I have and um, I let it sit. It says to let it sit for several minutes but it usually gets rinsed off in the shower way before that but um, so I let it rinse off and um, I afterwards like even after I've um, lotioned and changed it for bed and everything I can feel it almost like prickly like the first night it felt like a, like a thousand needles just in that those areas that I had this and it still sort of feels like that. It's, I think I'm starting to become used to it, so it's not as um, strong of a sensation, but it still feels really weird. I don't, I don't exactly know what it's doing to my skin because it doesn't feel or do look, look any different. Um, so I'll probably use this up just because I bought it. Um, it was, it was. I don't know. Why I keep smiling. <laughs> it was um, four dollars, four or something or another. And I don't know if I would buy it again. There's one like this that also has salicylic acid in it that's supposed to be good for um, for KP, for these bumps. And so I might try that. I'm not sure. I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting annoyed with everything I've tried for these. And I'm actually debating doing the one where you drink like a ridiculous amount of um, carrot juice. I mean, you eat normally, but then you also add, like, a ridiculous amount of carrot juice. So, um, we'll see about that. Um, the other thing is something that I found from my stash as I was clearing it out. And I've been using this for a month and a half to two months now. And it's the St. Ives Apricot Cleaning Clean Cleanser. The Apricot Cleanser Deep Cleaning. And it's for combination skin, oil-free. And, um, it's a white cream with little tiny pink, I don't know if you can see the pink, there's one right there, the, um, let's see if you can see it now, I don't know if you can see, but there's like the, the tiny, tiny, tiniest little pink beads, and, um, it is, the beads are, what are the beads? Well, what it has is oil absor absorbing silica um, to kind of help. Whoa, it's wet from the shower. <laughs> That's dripping everywhere. Um, so it helps absorb any oils you might have. And um, I'm not sure what the beads are now. I'm just going to try and figure that out. But it's nothing like the apricot scrub or anything like that. It's not harsh at all. It's very creamy. And the beads are just very, very minute. You can barely, barely even feel, I can barely feel them right now. Um, they're very, very tiny, and they're not harsh on your skin. What I really like about this is that it has salicylic acid in it. And um, what I use this for is more of a mask treatment. And I um, get, I wipe my makeup off, and I get in the shower, and... Um, do what you do in the shower and then I uh, put this all over slather this all over my face uh, I dampen my face a bit and then I slather this all over my face and into my neck 
and then I let that go. I wash off, um, like I get done in the shower, and I come out my, with the stuff still on my face. And I go through the oil and lotion for my body. I put my clothes on or whatever else, and then I rinse this stuff off my face. And um, it just feels like it really has extracted and it's gotten deep into the pores and cleaned out everything. And it feels really fresh and cleansing. Now, I noticed that you can't do this too often, um, like to leave it on your skin because I, don't, I think the salicylic acid can get like harsh on your skin. So, you, you know, after a while it can really irritate your skin. But if you do this, you know, once or twice a week or so. I just, that's what I've been doing, and I really enjoy, I just enjoy the feeling of it, like, really feeling like it's deep cleaning, um, like it says, <laughs> and, um, yeah, I'm not really a fan of it as just a cleanser by itself, um, it's not a bad cleanser, it's just, I don't find it as great as, um, the one I've been using by Vichy, and, um, yeah, so I, rarely use it just as a cleanser but I just keep it in my shower and just do the routine that I told you and I've really liked it I probably won't purchase it again as and I don't really like St. Ives products as a whole and um uh so yeah and I've got other masks that I love as well so I uh m may not purchase this again this was like really cheap a while ago I remember I had gotten a whole bunch of these and they were like I don't know, like less than two dollars a bottle or whatever, so I went crazy on it at the time. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to do a bit of a shout out for this because it's a pretty good product, especially if you have acne prone skin. Um, with the silica in it, it might help um, draw out some of the extra oil, although it's just for combination skin. So if you have like totally oily, oily skin, I don't know what I don't know if this is gonna help because it's also quite um, creamy so I'm not sure how much moisturizing properties are actually in this that might be that might actually clog up your pores more so please be careful with that so I'll talk to you guys later bye